Miles, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions video featuring BNSS 6951. If you guys enjoy watching layout updates, scratch builds on a budget, how to's, train shows, contests, live streams, and reviews, scroll your mouse down here and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Give it a couple of these also. Please share this video on other media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other model railroad forums. Let's get started right now. <laughs> Who's that? It's a cat in the hat. If you do film my door, then weirdos will come to my house. Well, all right, guys, today is day six of uh, my guest visit, and we're at Eric Hall's house today checking out his layout. And this was the original layout here. And we'll walk around to the other side and we'll see what he's accomplished at this point. What do you call this yard, uh, Eric? It says it on the front. <laughs> Salt River. Salt River Valley. All right, cool. This is awesome. Very awesome. And then you got Fire Point down here where I just put that in. So really, this is just, because this is a staging yard, it's just so you don't have to back everything in and out. You can turn it. Um, most cars should turn through here. Like the 80, the big 80 footers might have an issue. So for like an 80 foot car, probably not. But if you have something long in your train, you have to back everything out and do it the hard I way. Thought you, oh, aren't you gonna go across from, from here? Yeah, but that goes up. Oh, okay. See, this is, this is four, this is actually four inches higher than this, so. There'll be a high line that runs right along here, cool. across over. So you'll come out of this, you'll run into the main layout room, go around there, it'll climb up behind LaGrange and everything, and when it comes back around, it'll be a little bit higher when it goes to this yard over here at Enterprise Yard, and that's um, the Santa Fe Yard. That way, even though you're pulling the traffic out of Phoenix, going to the Santa Fe Yard, it makes you feel like you've gone somewhere versus going from okay here to there. So I did kind of this way just to put stuff out of the main layout. So whoever's running this back and forth has to be going. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Layout work in progress. All right. So, what's your what's your favorite hobby? Is it the trains or the pinballs? Actually, it would be the Volkswagen. Oh, and okay. The Duster, but right. the, both of those are broken, so they don't they don't go anywhere. I'm actually gonna start working on a bug. Put the um, I need to um, put a new throttle cable in it. And last time I went out, I tweaked it a little bit. So if you notice, it's leaning to one side. Yeah, I did so see I need that. To level it out again. And then the duster with um, my favorite toy from 1984. Mm -hmm. You know, you could buy a race car for 600 bucks in 1984. Yeah, that's for but sure. Now my, it's a blue shelf. It's a storage unit. Yeah. So. Well, it's just like just like this guy mm -hmm. with his with his car in the garage. Yeah. So. yeah. But what happened is, you know, I almost cut my thumb off. Well, almost. I think you told me that the last time I was here. Yeah, during a house fire on Thanksgiving. Yeah. One year before my daughter was born. Oh wow. So um, therapy and I worked at nights and people frowned on the Volkswagens loud, the dusters loud, mm -hmm. and I worked nights and people frowned on that. So. <laughs> Started the train thing and therapy for the thumb, you know, and then um, 
obviously I didn't have anything better to do because about 12 months later we ended up with a little girl after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward. It went, it I'm went not downhill forward. at that point. Now we got two more. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the therapy I'm going to be doing here pretty soon my, with my fingers. So that's where that started. All right. Well, very cool. But I've always liked trains too. But the pinball machines, I like the pinball machines. I like them all. Yes. You really have corn dogs at my house. <laughs> Come to Eric's house, you get to play pinball and you get to eat corn dogs. <laughs> I was catching the mustard here. Alright. That guy's annoying. Crap to listen to on the damn. I hate doing food things, and it's like, oh my god, I'm a vlogger. I don't think I got any pinball machines. And then I got napkins on the table. Alright, boys, it's chow time. Talk to you guys in a little bit. I got a point every time. Yeah, that's it. Part of the part of the stick. Stay frosty, my friends. What was the last one? One more. Stay frosty. One more? Stay frosty, my friends. Oh, all right. All right my last one is... <laughs> I talked to it. We can do one more time. I all shouldn't right. talk. That's bad. I'm Sparky107107, 107, 107, and I approve this message. Okay. Well, guys, today's bittersweet day. Uh, it's day seven, and my one of my guests is going to be leaving today, and so I'm going to put the camera over to him and ask him a few questions. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Mr. Sparky, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> how was your visit here to, this week? Awesome. We were just talking about that, actually. Really? Well, it had nothing to do with you, though. <laughs> 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 Even though this is the last day, he's going to be picking my picking on me. <laughs> uh, can't did you, stop now. Did you have a good time? I did. It was, it was a great time. Good. All the guys that we got to meet, the layouts we got to see. And... What else? Your layout worked. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> okay. And yeah, I was looking forward to making sure that it did work. Anyhow, we're going to be leaving here in a few minutes to head to the airport and drop Sparky off. Uh, his flight leaves at 12.30, I believe, and we're going to get him to the airport by 9.30. Anyhow, Sparky, it was really fun having you here, and uh, I love you. Does that mean I can come back? <laughs> and, yeah, it'd be a little less hard on you. <laughs> uh, anyhow, all right, guys, we'll talk to you guys later. We'll do some more, a couple more clips at the airport. Talk to you guys later. Bye. That's the Air Force One parked at Scott Harbor Airport. The president's in town this week. That's kind of strange to see it sitting there. Holy crap, that's a good shot of it, too. Wow. Huh. But that's not a 747. Terminal 3-4 east. Terminal 3-4, Terminal 3. So I guess you're in the right lane, it's over. Okay. Yeah, my weight car. Oh, oh well. Sparky, and we'll see him when he gets home. Talk to you guys later. Bye, Sparky!